Hey guys, here at the Gippsland Rally today. We are currently halfway on the stage, on the first stage. I have to say, this is without a doubt the most precarious, dangerous bullshit that I've ever done. Literally standing on the side of a track with nothing but old mate tree here. And as I'm sure you can hear, there's a car coming right now. So let me just put this to the back and you can see. Here at the Gippsland Rally, <laughs> getting covered in dust. Catch up with you again in a little bit. Do I have time to remove my filter this time? Probably not. I'm probably never going to get a chance at this rate. Right? Oh, one six thousand four hundredth of a second. Mint. Yeah. Perfect. ISO 500 though. <laughs> yeah. Because even in its lower setting, it's still two stops of, of ND on it. Yeah. I wonder if there's a river crossing. That would be fucking so. mental if there's a river crossing. <laughs> if mine did that, I'd have to take the fucking microphone off because you can't get to the viewfinder with the microphone. <laughs> Just fucking smacks you in the face. Oh, here he comes. Jesus! Mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah, I left mine unzipped. That was not smart. Ooh! Particle city. And get the dust off the screen again. I thought drifting was bad for fucking your cameras up with with particles, but fuck me. And your eyes as well. I thought drifting at cold was bad for your eyes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I didn't think that you'd get this much It's all right. It's sort of scary thinking that, you know, if a car comes up here and just like breaks the steering, that they're literally gonna end up right here and there is nothing except a slight embankment to stop that. Just grab your bag and run. Yeah, I'm not sure these trees will stop it either. That one might. Those trees will go straight. To be honest, I think, I'd, I think I'm actually better off being here that the car comes up and you just duck and hope they go over the top yeah, of you. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Five cars have gone past and I already feel like my gear is irreparably ruined by dust. Just keep this in one hand. This is how you protect your gear, just... <laughs> corners they hit faster they should get more dust than particles from oh, it's all for particles mate it's all for fucking particles <laughs> think that oh, it's only 500 meters you've got to walk or it's only a kilometer you forget that it's a kilometer of this <laughs> dust everywhere again I think honestly in a second my viewfinder is just gonna go now your eyes always press to it from all the dust building up on the sensor on the eye sensor thing should have got the 14 mil back 14? <laughs> something like this would be mad that was from Dingo yeah from Danny yeah Sigma. Oh, did you go to that photo walk the other day? Yeah, I was there. How was it? Uh, yeah, not too bad. I mean, I spent basically the entire time doing video. I think I got 150 photos for the day and the rest of it was all video. 
hard when you try to break tape. <laughs> And that was before I realized that these mode set dials, the custom one, two, and three, can be used to set. Yeah, video and stuff. Yeah. Really? Um, so I literally was like shooting video, picture profile three, going back to photo, set profile back to zero, back to. And by which time, oh fuck, the, the photo's gone. They must be running their cars so hard. <laughs> what I expect from an S13. Sideways. <laughs> You're in my shot. <laughs> oh wait, it's gone. Come back. Sorry. <laughs> no, it actually looks good. The other two things I forgot was to bring my water with me. I've got a whole fucking like 24 pack in the car. Yeah. And sunscreen. Thank you. <laughs> Today's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> The other two things I rely on this <laughs> Yeah. Sunscreen and water. She remembers that shit. I don't remember that shit. Yeah, but at least you got hair on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished lunch. We're now back at the start of stage three, I think it is. So we're gonna head over to the stage, see what we can work out. The first cars are coming through now. So that's a wrap guys. Walking all the way back up the stage. Got Nick here with me. Cardio for fucking days. We've been passed so far by two recovery vehicles, both with empty seats. None of them willing to give us a ride. Shout out recovery for not giving a shit about recovering two photographers. <laughs> So I think from here we're gonna wrap it up, we're gonna head back and I guess I'll see you back at home to run through the editing of the photos. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. So we're all done for the day. It's a new day as you can probably tell by the shirt. It was a very, very good day up at Hayfield photographing the rallying with Nick at NJH Media. I'll leave his Instagram handle on the screen and in the description below so you can check him out. He's a really talented photographer. It was also a really, really long day. I was up at five o'clock that morning. It was like a two hour, two hour 15 drive over there. I was photographing all the way until Nick and I left at half past five. It was another two hours back home. I got home and was completely knackered and didn't really want to look at my photos. So it's the next day and I've gone through, I've edited them. So I'll run you through how I edited them. I'm also going to be leaving the preset that I made from most of these edits in the description so you can check that out as well you can download it it works with all versions of of modern Lightroom so Lightroom Classic as well as Lightroom Mobile let's dive into Lightroom and I'll show you what I came up with all right so we're over in Lightroom now this photo I always find to be a little bit funny especially considering how much these are worth now for those of you that don't know this is an a S13 Nissan Silvia and they're more commonly if you follow, well, follow my drift stuff you'll know that these are a very common drift platform they've become quite an expensive Japanese domestic market or JDM car they're very collectible and these things you used to be able to buy for eight Eight thousand dollars Australian and now some people are gouging as much as fifty thousand for them so to see one out rallying in a very high risk environment it's a bit crazy if you ask me but nonetheless it was a nice car now let's jump along to some of the on track stuff this is one of my favorite photos right here this was edited I think with my moody sand dunes preset which funny story I actually deleted all of my custom-made drift presets by accident so I've got to go back through and remake them all it is what it is I guess what I've done in this image is I played around a lot with the temperature by default it was shot up at 5.8 and that looked far too yellow to me so I brought it back down towards 5,000 just to sort of bring these white banners back white again and stop them looking yellow tried to take the highlights out of the uh, out of the dust cloud, try and show as much of the rocks and the particles and things as possible. And then just sort of fixed up the shadows 
didn't want it looking too dark and basic editing the tone curve basically I just sort of lifted some of the highlights and midtones back by doing it in the tone curve if I remove this you'll see it makes it rather than going into your basic and just playing with the highlights where it's almost quite a sharp it's only really affecting these brightest brightest parts of the image if you do it in the tone curve you can control the roll off and the roll on of the of the highlights a little bit better so you can get more of like a smooth ramp so I chose to do it in there and then as for the coloring and stuff like that I've done that all in the tone curve kept the tone curve basically the same but just very minor tweaks in these mid-tones to get this sort of red sand, which if you've ever been up to Hayfield and I know that this sort of reddy brown dirt is quite common up there and the camera doesn't really show it that well. We'll jump along now to some actual on stage photos. Some of my absolute favorite photos, these ones. And these are the ones that I've built the preset off. So we'll take a look at this image here. So we'll look at this image here. So it is a Focus ST, absolutely barreling down the stage, tons of dust, tons of rocks and and all sorts of dirt flicking off the back of it and this is the edited image if i hit reset you'll see it's a slightly underexposed image but i was trying to keep details in the sky which to be honest considering how little it makes up in this image it wasn't entirely necessary i was also trying to really get a high shutter speed to try and capture as many of these rocks and particles as possible. And you can see even at one three thousandth of a second, these these particles still got some motion blur on them. So really makes you think about how fast these particles are flying off the car. You'll see, I've got this Gippsland Rally preset. I chuck it on and immediately you're thinking, what the hell is he talking about? This preset's garbage. But as soon as you come in here and you turn the white balance up to around 6,500, immediately you start to get the pop. So you see the yellows and the ground popping, you've got greens, yellows and reds, all of the colors in the trees really starting to pop as well. There is a sky mask in here, but the sky mask doesn't actually integrate across saved edits. So if you want to recolor the sky, you have to add it manually. So I'll just delete it. And there is this radial mask, which I just aligned with the car and just align it with the road. And this is, this filter is designed as you can see, it's an inverted mask. You just bring the exposure down and it gives you center focus on the car. You don't want to take it too far, but you just bring it down a fraction just to really pull the viewer's eye into the center. Same thing with this image. We'll hit reset, we drag this back on, 6,500. Now in this case, it's way overexposed. If we just drag the exposure back down, Grab this mask, move it over the car. Just shrink the mask back down so it only really covers the road and the car. Remove that because you don't need it. Maybe drag a linear filter down from the top. Add a little bit of warmth. Maybe also drag one up here and just darken this a little bit and then bang. To me, that's a that's a great image. You know, even with these, if you want to put them up on Instagram, you can crop them four by five and they were great as an Instagram post. With the new Instagram features, I just prefer to leave them all full size and then let Instagram handle the cropping to four by five on that side. That's basically my edit process. That's basically the preset. As I said, I'll leave the preset in the description. I'll leave a link to it. So if you want to go and get it, you can go and download it. And as always, thanks heaps for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you like the content. It really helps out the algorithm, really helps the video to get some reach. Leave a comment as well down below telling me what you like about this video and if you want to see more videos like it. And of course, if you like the content that I make and you want to support me, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell so you get notified about all future videos that I launch. And hopefully I'll have a few more events coming up in a few weeks, so I should have a couple more videos coming out over the next couple of weeks. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.